Johnny mother is here. We like to say what's up, guy. It's our way to say hi. In February, it is good to know a plow guy. It is shaped like a key. Also, where I like to ski. Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from. Hey guys, it's JMO again. Um, I'm gonna light this little cigar right here and tell you a story and spin you a thread. Cigars do a lot of things. Yeah, they're kind of bad for your health, but they bring people together too. Once upon a time, there was a man named Charlie. And Charlie watched a video on YouTube of a guy metal detecting in New Hampshire. And in his video, during the wrap-up, he smoked a cigar. That man was me. Sorry. That man was me. Charlie is one member of an elite relic hunting task force known as Stealth Diggers. And today, I was privileged enough to go on a hunt with two of the Stealth Diggers. Uh, that was Digger Charlie and Just Bob. Here we go again, folks. We are specifically and undeniably in the woods. Recognize this man? Tell him who you are. I don't want to give myself away. All right. Tell me who he is. Just Bob. That's just Bob. <laughs> Digger Charlie. <laughs> Digger Charlie. These are stealth diggers. Uh, I was invited out to join them on a hunt in some very historical pieces of land. And we're going to go dig up some bits of pieces of metal and stuff. Won't you join us? Um, great guys, wonderful hospitality. Uh, he's got an amazing, amazing collection of relics and artifacts and stuff that he's found in his local area. Kind of the stuff I'm looking for in my local area. Um, my collection is probably a, oh god, maybe one tenth of what he has. Same kinds of things. He has more examples and better examples. Great collection great history he knows all of his properties that he's got permission on so we're at our first cellar hole out here in the woods all you do is drive up the dirt road take a left at the ferns and you're here if you want to come come on over now well, cellar hole number four got the chimney over there we got some modern looking trash what is that a furnace an old furnace looks like it pile of wood, Crapper. shit house, mm -hmm. some cinder blocks over there. Well, let's see what we find. Uh, they're all, you know, pretty well hunted out over the years anyway because they're kind of, a lot of them are kind of public. Well, the ones we went to today are sort of public knowledge and anybody can find them and go there. Um, but I had a great, great time. Uh, we got a few honorable mentions. Well, that was right on the surface. That's either the high heel from a woman with really fat round feet or one leg off a kettle. An old cast iron kettle. Right on the surface. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that means. This place has been dug before and this was left behind. To, to, uh, to add to the collection, um, Charlie got a nice small shirt button shotgun shell range, but I'm so close to the hole I figured I'd dig it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's an itty bitty one. Let me yeah. refocus. Nice. Complete. It's got a design on it. Yeah. Like a waffle design. Mosquitoes biting my head. I have to move. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the dirt, you think? Well, I just popped it out. It was there. Oh, it was just the bailey on the surface. Hard to say because I I popped it so yeah. Nice dig. And uh, Bob got a really cool suspender clip that goes up at the top of the suspenders where the webbing goes through. And uh, I did okay. I got a couple things. I'm gonna clean them up and show them to you real quick. And. We'll do the wrap up. 
I'm going to put, uh, if I figure out how to make a link in the description for their channel, I'll put it in there. But if not, it'll be right here across your screen, Stealth Diggers, right here. So, let's get to it. All right, <clears throat> first item that I dug on film. Actually, the first item that I dug um, is this. It was under a 25-pound boulder. Uh, had a wooden handle at one point, so just a butter knife. But it had a real nice, clean tone to it in the 70s to 80. So I dug it. <coughs> Pardon me. Then there was this. I got one of these. It's copper. Some kind of hook. A little copper hook or brass hook, whatever that is. I don't know. And this lead bit right here. Here's this. It's made of lead. It's got pretty designs on it. But I don't know what it is. It's about six inches down. I got it cleaned up. I'll show you a better picture. You see the nice little design it's got on it. Um, this was either some sort of uh, maybe a, an escutcheon behind a doorknob, or maybe a gasket. Um, I know some machinery used to use like a lead gasket for like your oil plug in your oil pan or something. It's real heavy. This old iron buckle. Oh, got a little iron looking buckle. Well, that's a good sign for the site. Yeah, right off the road. Means somebody missed it or yeah. didn't bother. Didn't bother. It had an old iron grunt to it, but otherwise it was 70 to 80. Nice. Yeah. We're at our third cellar hole for the day. The other two were non-productive. But uh, this one shows promise already. Let's keep on. About six inches down. And this here button, bearing on it too. Got some nice words on it. Buxton. Buxton Manufacturing Company. What are you going to do about it, Buxton? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a button or a rivet. Look at the back. Or a screw cap, maybe. Huh, still neat. Yeah. Cool, man. Get it cleaned up, show you a better picture. It says Buxton Manufacturing Company on it. I don't know what Buxton Manufacturing Company is, but it's not your typical button. I'll have to look it up. Maybe I can get you some more information. But it, it's got a, that's an iron backing to it. So I don't know if it was a bottle stopper, maybe, or a, a rivet, or some kind of a primitive screw cap threaded on the inside, the bottle would be, or jar, or whatever. And the one thing I got that I didn't get on film because it was after I had dug up like three or four shotgun shells in the same area and it gave the same exact signal but I said to myself if all them shotgun shells are 66 and this rings in at a 66 I asked myself self do you know what else rings up as a 66 and my answer was no I don't so I dug it a little suspender clip so that's pretty cool and that's all of it guys had a great time out with good friends and I uh, hope to do it again sometime hope to get them over here maybe I can uh, find a place that has something to dig so once again I'd like to thank Charlie for having me out there um, you're a wonderful host buddy uh, Bob it was great meeting you today hope to hook up with you guys again and uh, do some more digging um, but like I said go check out stealth diggers these guys they find some amazing cellar holes uh, somewhere in New Hampshire and uh, some of the stuff they find you know it's it's random at best which is always the best finds because it's always when you're you know you've dug crap for the past week or so and you can't find anything and you got that one iffy signal that you just want to skip over but you dig it anyway and it turns out to be something amazing they've done that many many times in a lot of their videos uh, so go check them out go check them out there's I think four um, I'm an honorary stealth digger for today, and I was very proud to be that. Thank you guys very much once again, and everybody else, swing, beep, dig. <laughs>